we, I think, have set the bar for a lot of other committees on uh, our ability to work. And uh, I, I look forward to uh, continuing to work with you on that. Uh, but there are differences, and uh, I think from time to time uh, those differences are reflected, but uh, the greatness of this country is that uh, people who differ can still come together for the common good, and, that, and we do that. Uh, again, thank you for holding this hearing. Uh, in March 2003, the federal government stood up the Department of Homeland Security in response to the September 2001 terrorist attack. Today, the Department of Homeland Security is the third largest agency in the federal government, employing about 220,000 people and operating both domestically and internationally. Prior to the September 2001, the United States used various approaches to handle catastrophic dangers, including National Guard involvement, law enforcement, and emergency management. But the events of 2001 forced us to begin a process aimed at the development of a cohesive homeland security policy. Over the last 10 years, the concept of homeland security has evolved and expanded. While the need to address terrorism remains central to our understanding of homeland security, we now understand that homeland security must include other catastrophic incidents. We must remain concerned about the risk that may threaten the lives of our people. But we cannot fail to recognize those things that may threaten the strength of our democracy, the vitality of our economy, as well as the continuation of public and private sector activities that impact our daily lives, from critical infrastructure protection to cyber security. The evolution and expansion of our understanding of homeland security has required us to ask the Department about risk assessment, strategic development, and operational priorities. From my vantage point, the ability to come to grips with these questions of risk, strategy, and operations has formed the core of the Department's struggles as well as formed the basis for its successes. So as we begin to discuss the Department's roadmap to the future, we must acknowledge that its presence on GAO's high-risk list remains a continuing cause for concern. The importance of the Department's high-risk designation and its ability to implement its plans to resolve the transformation and integration issues that continue to hamper its development into a cohesive organizational unit cannot be understated. For several years, I've noted the need to strengthen the ability of the Undersecretary for Management to require and enforce uniform administrative practices and procedures throughout each component. It seems to me that the lack of power in the management office will continue to permit ineffective and inconsistent practices in procurement and personnel throughout the components. We see the results of these inconsistencies each time we learn about wasted money. And we read about the fallout of these inconsistent practices every year when the department ends up near the bottom of OPM's annual survey of employee satisfaction. So as we consider the roadmap forward, let us be sure to consider how the department can achieve the mission and improve its internal operations. The biggest challenge, however, is whether Congress will fully fund Homeland Security efforts as opposed to slashing the Homeland Security budget as proposed by the majority. While the threat to Homeland Security has not diminished, the Department of Homeland Security has been required to do more with less. The fiscal 2012 Homeland Security appropriations shortchanged Homeland Security. From border security, aviation security, science and technology, and in particular, the management directorate and the budget environment for fiscal year 2013 has not changed. In fact, it may have worsened. Uh, I'd like to also say at this point that Congress hadn't been really helpful uh, in some of these situations because uh, we've not, uh, when I was chair and now Chairman King since he's back, been able to convince our leadership that a consolidated jurisdiction 
uh, for the Department of Homeland Security would be in the best interest of this country. Uh, I think we still agree on that, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'm just checking. Uh, so I want to make sure that uh, everybody understands that uh, as long as jurisdiction is split, uh, um, the department is tasked with responding to over 100 committees and subcommittees uh, on this hill, and that's just too much. So I look forward to hearing from our witnesses on, on these and other issues as we discuss the path forward for the department, and I yield back the balance of my time.